sometimes he's goofy, but he's always got a joke. Before I met him, I said meteorology. Hey, guy, that's not for me. No but song. now I'm weathering the weather. <laughs> With him. Hello, oh, sports fan. You done, that's Jerry? It. Yes. Go ahead, you're on, Go. Ed. I'm on. Thanks for heckling last time during a serious editorial on global warming. I meant well. You did not mean well. All right, Manuel. All right, we have today, we have uh, we have the wonderful, eh, Jerry Hurley. Well, Mike, stay awake today. Give yourself a little music, Jerry. I've been practicing. Well, that's unusual. <laughs> we have the lovely, the, stop it. I want to we have the lovely. We have the lovely, the vivacious, you don't mind, do you? <laughs> Guest hostess, give her a hand. Can I say her name, please? You didn't Audrey announce her name. Ryan, all right. You didn't announce her name. Audrey. You didn't Audrey say Audrey. Who graduated he did. from. Audrey. He did. I just finished it. <laughs> who graduated from Boston College, better known as BC, ladies and gentlemen. We as well get them upset at us. Have you heard the BC alma mater? Have you heard the BC alma mater? What? I don't want to hear it now. You Thank know, you. She, I do. She, can I get, I'm getting serious here. She has a degree in communications. That's why she's here today. Oh, wow. the real reason Nikki Penta had to go to the uh, get her nails what, done. What was that called? Pedicurist. She had pedicurist. to get a pedicure. Yeah, yeah, that's pedicure. right. It, but it wouldn't let me was go. Then we have the one, the only, oh. Bill Montague from Montague Gallery. Let's give him a hand. Oh, thank you. You done? Then we have chairman what? of the board. Unfortunately, Frank Sinatra couldn't make it because he's dead. Yep. Fumble. <laughs> so we have Ira Keltz. Let's give it to him. Ira, Ira. So I have to show Ira, you the right? show Is it true, Ira, that when you walk in a room two hours later, somebody figures out somebody came in? Is that's, that right? That's a classic. I like that. Too. Mr. Yeah. Excitement. Thank you. I'm Thank gonna you. hit you. But over. he has a show of his own, right? <laughs> right. Ira, he does the. Uh, does who cares about the music? Local show? music rocks here in West Virginia. Oh. It's certainly, you know, it crocs is what it is. All right. Wow. Thank you. Great. Now, are you finished with the music? Not no. yet. No, not <laughs> no, I'm here I got news for you. You're finished. I'm here for the full half hour. Yeah. No, I hope not. Is, is uh, the, all right, settle down. Is the, is the check in the mail? Yeah, the check's in the mail. He's coming in from Yugoslavia. All right. <laughs> I thought it was from Czechoslovakia. Can I, can I finish? Couldn't you Forgive start? These Maybe people you can start. Yeah. Little, you can right. start any time, I'm getting serious. Now knock it off. I'm tired of the heckling. Hey, Mo. What heckling? <laughs> you haven't started yet. I am ready. In November, this is serious, November Betts will begin reporting from Austin, Texas, all right? What's on he going to talk about? On Where's Austin? On environmental issues and the arts, is okay? Aust is Austin near Nova Texas? <laughs> Stop it. And November Betts is a fine jewelry designer and mixed media artist. That's where you paint and put other stuff in yeah, there. Yeah, no, she's good. She's excellent. She has appeared on our show several times and is still in recovery mode, right? <laughs> Thank you. No, to see her exquisite line of sterling silver jewelry and fine art or to learn more about her, please visit, and it's supposed to be up on the screen, we'll do it later because we have trouble, www.novenabents.com. And I'll say it, it's N-E-V-E-N-A-B-E-N-T-Z dot C-O-M. All right, let's hear it. Come on. Yeah, and that, listen, and her jewelry is sold at 10 Walden Street. I was going to bring that. Uh, Montague Gallery, that's what, right. What yeah. place is that? Montague Gallery at what? 10 Walden Street in Concord, Massachusetts. Thank you, but Navina not... Navina Benz Jewelry. Not to be confused with Concord, New Hampshire, right? Right. Now, well, you're from England, right? Concord, you spent a year at Concord, New Hampshire. Oh, yeah. That's and then, uh, London. Thank you. And then we have from Floral Arts, who was here kindly enough to bring flowers last time. I cried, I don't know. I had to go down and put... He, in Floral Arts in beautiful Westford, Mass. on Route 110. Let's give him a hand. He's not here. What's his name? Mike Spanos. Okay. He's a sp Didn't know. Are we tiptoeing through the tulips? Uh, your headache getting worse because mine's dun, got development. Well, <laughs> tulips. Dun, 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 sure. I tulips. know what it is. Uh, All right. So let's do a little music for it. Cause just no, I right. Let's go through this first. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. I, so, I'm so not I, responsible for this. Go ahead. I had some questions about the weather. So well, here, read this, this and then give it back. What did you do with it? Eat them? It's okay. We Where is it? Oh, you know what they are? Go ahead. So, this is my first time on the show. I'm very honored to be here. No, you're not. I'm, Go ahead. You know, I wasn't invited for the first, what, 47 episodes Look, we got 46. It's 46. show 47. Right, Will you important. please? We're down to 22 minutes. Go uh, ahead. I'm trying. So, I had a few weather questions. One is, how is Snow White? Pretty good, according to the seven dwarfs. Come on, hiss. Mm -hmm. This is terrible. Mm -hmm. well, it's pretty good, It's actually. his stuff. It's not All right, mine. go ahead. 
Um, well, what? tell us why snow is white really quick before we get into the rest of the show. We use bleach. Okay, that's good. So we, this is more than educational weather. This is fake weather. Sarcastic yeah. weather. Fake <laughs> weather. I like that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So Thank last, you last question from me today is, you know, what's the opposite of cold front? Can you tell us that? Hot back. A oh. hot back. Uh -huh. oh. No, it's a warm back. Get it right. Oh, it's in the weather. So all right. So what, what's uh, the what's the real answer? He's doing Looney Tunes. The real answer is a warm front. A warm front. Okay. All right. Thank you, Bugs. Go ahead. What? I'm, I'm good. Read it. No, you're not. So, what type of sense? What type? What type of sense of humor does a dust storm have, Ed? I'm getting a foul humor? taste in my mouth for this. It, it could be medication. A very, a very dry sense of humor, or a droll sense of humor. What are you laughing at? This no, is pitiful. Good. Is it really? <laughs> you're a sick in the head. You woke up. How much did you pay? Go back to sleep. All right. Here's the final one because I can't take any more. Okay. So this Go is ahead. this is a, a hurricane related. Will you just question. read it? What's a hurricane's favorite pet? Anywhere from one to five cats. Now I must explain. There are five categories for hurricane. Okay. And you don't want to look at number five because it's spelled D E A D for you. <laughs> okay, it's true. That's the strongest. That's the worst one. Good thing there weren't any this year in the Gulf that's of that's Mexico. That's why they call it Katrina, right? <laughs> no, not so much. Okay, go on. It's a good thing there weren't any hurricanes in the Gulf, tropical storms in the Gulf, because the seawater temperature off the Key West was 90, 91 degrees. And if a, a tropical storm got in there, it'd be called taking nitro and shaking well before mixing. Or using, actually. <laughs> you sicko. <laughs> All right, enough. All right. Thank you, Ed, for answering my questions. These are pretty stupid, you know that? That's right. Don't give me that back. Okay. There's no such uh, thing as a stupid question. Just a yes, there's answer. such a thing as a stupid yeah. answer. Right. Right. Oh, you went to school, didn't you? That's what they I taught asked, you at BC. Um, what? Could I ask Ira a question? No, Oof. because he's a chairman of the board. It's a lot of pressure. Go ahead. Wait a minute. Ira decided I, he was bored. I was wondering if you paid for those jokes. Oh, no. Um, I Actually, I'll, I'll credit those jokes now. Those came from the Funny or Die weather site. Funny so or Die? I think they died. That, yeah. And, Thank uh, you. you can get that the, can I put this on your nose so maybe, I know where it is? Know. And you can get that on. No. Um, and you can get that on your um, Android or iPhone. Oh, I'm not an Android. One of them was funny. Yeah. Yeah. Just, there's not too many. One out of five of my jokes are funny. Too. Can I? <laughs> hey, why don't you do something? Because uh, you're sitting here. You're the chair. This is. It comes up your alley. S political. Senate Democrats push unity and climate change effort. Okay. Leaders aim to create U.S. policy. Go right okay, ahead. Okay, so this is an article from uh, the Boston Globe from yesterday. Well, how do they know what it is? Uh, what day? Read it. Well, it's yesterday, September 23rd, 2015. So B.C., right? B exactly. Okay. <laughs> it's like it's A.D., actually. No, so I don't. Senate <laughs> Democrats. <laughs> some de Senate, uh, don't laugh about this. Is not so this funny. is serious. This is about uh, climate change efforts in the Senate. So Senate Democratic leaders on Tuesday unveiled a measure. Slow down. We're not in a race here. Well, you got 18 minutes left. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> Senate Democratic unveiled a measure intended to signal their support of President Obama's aggressive climate change agenda to 2016 voters and to the rest of the world. The Democrats hope that the bill, sponsored by Senator Maria Cantwell of Washington, never heard of her. She's the top Democrat in the uh, Senate Energy she, Committee. Glad you told me. Good. Yeah. And she, she said so. If you don't will, believe it, just ask her. This will demonstrate a new unity for the party on energy and climate change, oh, and define Democrats' approach to global warming po policy. Warming, in the coming not years. warning. Well, yeah, well, well oh, warning. Most warnings both, about yeah. it. So they want to cut uh, greenhouse gas emissions, which you know a lot of people look at me when you say gas. Just by two percent. That's like half a toot. Um, each year through 2025, a cut even larger than the target set by the Obama administration. We have an administration in yeah. uh, Washington? But, I didn't know but that. But this bill has no chance of passage in, right. the, in the republican control. It's Congress. all for show it really what is. it is. It is. So, you know, that's kind of like it. Like it. So they're, what, what do you want to tell us about climate change? Keep going. Oh, God, there's I so much more. I had an editorial <laughs> last time. Read it. Okay. So the bill has no chance of Just passing the in the Congress. Will you read it? Just the underlying part. If they regain, if the, se if the Democrats re regain the majority next year, then they will move to enact climate legislation along the lines of the Cantwell bill. Uh, Senate Democrats time the release of the bill to coincide with a push this week at the UN General Assembly toward reaching a sweeping climate accord this fall at a summit meeting in Paris. They hope to indicate to world leaders that despite Republican opposition to the plan, they stand ready to back Obama's policies. The Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, a Kentucky Republican, he's is another open. one is exciting. Yeah, he's pretty good. I yeah, wonder why he hasn't butted in. Yeah. And uh, so Mitch McConnell has opened all fronts campaign to block the president's climate initiatives. McConnell sought to undercut Obama's efforts to enact tough new regulations on greenhouse gas pollution and his bid to forge the Global Climate Change Pact in Paris. Paris. 
Tyree, great three. So why is this relevant to us today? Tell us. Well, because I did an editorial that I was heckled through last uh, time. We'll be We're quiet this time. No, you were. Well, you were. You weren't here. Boys, it's serious. Is that it, what, for, the, is that it for the weather? No. Yeah. Why no. do you think it's been so warm this season? No. We've messed up the... I was going to say screwed up. But oh. we, well, I had the heck. We've screwed up the atmosphere with all the pollution for the Latino vote. Mm. <laughs> and uh, how do you say it in Hebrew? I... Thank you. Some rabbi you Schmutz. are. Schmutz. I don't know. Schmutz. Yeah, I think that's the Hebrew word. Chicago term. Schmutz. Schmutz. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> they don't use it at BC. Oi. 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 It's Oi. Hot. Oi. Yeah. Did they say that at BC? So, so you're saying it's, it's really warm? You're damn right it's warm because it was warm today. You know it's, what I mean? It's only like, 75. Huh? The normal high is about 68, bucko. Okay. I guess you knew better than me. Thank you. Because <laughs> I'm a urologist. The you're wind, a urologist? Thank what? you. A what? The wind's basically a, a lot. urologist. I'm a, a urologist. Yes. Oh, it's I thought you said a urologist. meteorology both talks about I water. About a urologist. Would you please? They're both steamy. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Wet too. Yeah. It's a young lady present. She hasn't heard this since the football team. I don't know. Right. Go ahead. She's heard everything by now, right? I know she hasn't. <laughs> so yes, she has. Oh, this is my. Can I finish this? And so the the floor aloft is basically west, southwest, uh, southwest. So you can't get. You cannot get cold air out of Canada, if there is any, which we don't know yet. It's not really. We get some uh, uh, wind off the ocean from a high pressure that's in the, the Canadian Maritimes or eastern Canada. You get an easterly flow, but otherwise it's warm aloft. Yeah. Yeah. They, and th they recently identified a, a source of, um, of hot air. That was the Congress in the White House. From the studio, actually. From the you know, there's a lot of hot air explaining the cold weather, you know yeah. that? Yeah. What cold weather? Yeah. You explain the cold weather with no, a lot of hot true. air. No, it's There used to be something called the yeah. Montreal Express. Very yeah. cold. That's in the winter time when you get an Arctic air mass coming down. Yeah. You done yet? How do you know? Oh, I'm sorry. That's my. Thank you. <laughs> I, didn't well, I know this, uh, 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 this is about Certainly the weather. So. Huh? Thank you. That's in the winter time. We forget that sometimes. No. It's when that, the Canadians oh, come down. Oh, that's down. true. Yeah. It's, it's almost winter. All right. Thank you. Now, as wildfires grow, a new landscape emerges in the West. Okay. Would you please read this? I know you're not feeling well, but this will wake you up. Oh, this was so much longer. I would have picked the other one. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> God, she has, that's what you get for going now, to London. She should England. be able to read because she's a college graduate. We don't put that kind of pressure no, no, on me. Sherry, Sherry, she, she went on. to England to practice English. Go yeah. ahead. Oh, gosh. She'll learn them English. <laughs> no, uh, uh, Go ahead, please. The hills here are beautiful. Uh, this is in New Mexico. A rolling green landscape of grasses and shrubs under a late summer sky. A little feeling, please. Can you play feelings while she's reading Can you play, this? like, sound of music? Can do it like a sad too, and it's wildfires. But it's a starkly different from what she was here before. Bravo, please. Go ahead. Vast forests of ponderosa pine. The repeated blazes that devastated the trees were caused by simple things. An improperly extinguished campfire in 1996. Yeah. A tree falling on a power line in 2011. And a crummy federal oh policy boy. on it, like putting out fires so the underbrush stays there. Mm. So when there's a r big fire, it burns the one out. Yep. All right. Well, and, and I, yeah, I, don't, I think you can just continue from there. I no, I think you should. Okay. We'll move down if into the sure. middle somewhere. Okay. I'll go. The forest, I'm skipping. Um, Thank you. Why, why go through the forest? Through there the isn't forest? A, there's no forest coming back. Ooh, a little red riding there's, there? Yeah. Stop it. There's no seedlings down below because the whole thing's been burnt and destroyed. Why, did you, why aren't you just running for the I read it. Go ahead. Okay. What do you think you're getting paid for here? <laughs> Well, I don't think I'm getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> the check is in the mail. Speak okay. to him because the he's the chair. In the mail. Uh, right. Okay, the Forest Service is again. struggling yeah. under an increasingly costly mission. According to a report released last month, firefighting takes up more than 50% of its annual Could budget. Could you look up occasionally we have a camera? Oh, my gosh. Well, no, we have a camera. Okay. <laughs> uh, up from 16% a decade ago. In 10 years, it could consume three quarters of its budget. Mm. Climate change has lengthened fire seasons, which are on average 78 days longer than they were in 1970. It's just going to keep growing, too. Yeah. Um, and six, the six worst fire seasons since 1960 have come since 2000. Not Whoa. good. Not good. How but do we there's fix no it global then? warming. How do huh? we fix it? It's too late. Really? We got, we we got the do. global warming going. I suddenly feel ill. Sad. Oh. Will you stop that, please? Thank you. Add some. No, look, we we have mu this show has everything. It adds yeah. We have class. music, yeah. we have jokes. It's noteworthy. Uh, we, we have weather. weather. Would you continue poetry. with your weather, please? <laughs> we have poetry, too. Poetry. We, we, get we, to we may not have time. Finish it. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> the consequences <laughs> of a century of forest. Do I need to finish it? You can just go. I think, a little bit I think more. They got Come on, a little bit more. Idea. Stop yelling with me. Oh, the consequences of a century of forest policies to suppress fires are now combining with the hotter and drier seasons. They, only say they used to let. Thank you. Very good. They used to let them burn. And then they had these tremendous wildfires in Montana. I think it was in the late 80s or 90s. Yeah. 
mm -hmm. burnt down the place. Then they decided, hey, maybe we should put them out. So they put them out, right? Then they get all this undergrowth going. Yeah, I think it so, started in the late 70s when they had that song, Burn, Baby, Burn, Disco Inferno. That's, I think that's one of that. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I got some more Did to get, Jerry, and joke? I can fire it down there. <laughs> <laughs> all so, right. So it's too late. We're screwed. Forest management's horrible. You know, I purposely keep this clean, and you're destroying it. I just, all right, thank you very much. Thank you. Let's well, give Andre a hand. Yes, I think I have a future in Audrey. Mail her the check. Okay. Yeah, make sure she gets it. Don't expect to cash it. Okay. All right, let's go to, let's go. Hey, cut that out. Stop that. <laughs> Stop it. Don't touch me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is it Bill. my turn? It's your turn, Bill. Oh, I'm going to read a poem. Me. It's a poem about flowers. Time out. Before, oh, I'm going to say before you read it, this is deep. Yeah. <laughs> I went to a restaurant. I went to a restaurant over in uh, Lexington, it's the Thai time. restaurant, and I had a nice meal all by myself. At four o'clock. And on the way home, I wrote this poem in the car. So we have truck, wherever I was in. It's called uh, Cut Flowers. Uh, I honor you and thank you for being present at my evening meal. You were my only company. I gently touched you to let you know I was aware of your presence. Lonely. Your beauty filled the restaurant for all to see. Some speak over you and make you feel unnoticed. I honor you for your presence and thank you for being my guest. Your life is short, I know, but what you lack in time you make up for in beauty. No doubt you have planted seeds that would grow and be just as beautiful. <laughs> I look forward to your offspring. I will love them too. Thank you and good night. The pleasure was all mine. All right, that's all right. very all right, all right. Well, you are lonely, aren't you? That was taken to, did you take the flowers home with you? No, no I took a picture of them and I put it in my book. But was, was it a cheap date or what? Thank that, you. that was my date, it's the flowers. Just had a glass of water. Nice. No, that's, that was, that was when written, I read that, that people about you, Audrey. When I read it's that, not. people say, "Is that about a woman?" I said, "No, it's cut flowers." Thank you. <laughs> you have another one to read because we have some time left. Oh my God. But, now your uh, Jerry is not a sponsor because he's a cheapskate. <laughs> Hi, Jerry. But uh, I'm thinking about it. You've been thinking for weeks. But uh, but Bill. But you hungry? Yeah, it's right. not kosher. Really Bill is. Uh, Rabbi. Bill <laughs> Bill is uh, uh, he's a sponsor. Yeah, that's right. So how are the books going since we advertised it? Fine. How's the jewelry oh, going? Oh, like wildfire. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I have a sponsor too, but that's just. Here's another. Here's means. another poem. Thank you. Here's how a poem. Is, no, wait a minute. How are the jewelry going? The sale. How's it going? Is it picking up yet? Not this yet. Is a serious the question. The sales. Holiday seasons. Right the the holidays is coming. All the people are back from vacation, mm. sort of set to pick up. Thank here's you. Another, here's another poem right, for, good, for young people. I can't take another. Go ahead. What's it's the called title Desire. There? That's Desiree. It's French. Desire often wears the costume of love. In the morning, you may find it scattered on the floor or hiding in the closet. The one on the floor you'll find the next day. The one in the closet may be years away. Sounds like well, your underwear. Right? That's kind of deep. What? <laughs> it sounds like the Dean Martin, doesn't it? A little bit. I'll have to explain who Dean Martin yeah. was. All right. You got another one because I really can't. Uh, how about love? Give me some love. Here's one about Why love. Why don't you read that? Go ahead. Just give us some feeling. Because oh, I that would be interesting to have <laughs> someone read your poem. That's right. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no, no. Can Jerry can't read. No, no. You're. It's you can a very, it's a very short like an every other word love. situation. Excuse me. We're down to eight twenty-five. Where you do it? It's in English. So you can read it. You're not a guest host. Why don't you read the first so line? Pressure? I know. I think and then now read yeah, the second line. I'm thinking that's good. Okay, you Stop read the title. Stop fighting, kids. Love. Yes. When you give, love away. Your investment will earn compound oh, okay. interest forever. Ah. Wow, that's, that's good. Beautiful. You know, it sounds so much better when somebody else is doing I like it. That. Especially two people. Yeah. That's good. That's Sharing. great. <laughs> All right, thank you. Let's give Bill a hand for uh, destroying. Po Apparently, we're not giving him a hand. Now, Jerry. <laughs> yeah. What what do you uh what's I forgot what song you're doing. Finally. Finally. Yeah, it gets to Jerry. It's, it's about Jerry, time he got Jerry, the Jerry. Give him a hand Jerry. before he was well, Jerry Hurley from Hurley Hurley. Jerry Hurley, Hurley from Concord, Massachusetts, Thank you, by the way. As I've said before, <laughs> when I'm on this program, and you're right, Ira, it is a privilege. Oh, um, gag me with a spoon, will you? <laughs> What, um, what are you, a valley girl? Yes, I am. Yeah. I try to do <laughs> songs that have to do with the weather. Yeah, so this song, so far. it does mention clouds. Yeah, at the end. Now, this is a very interesting song because it was the favorite song of one of our presidents. Oh, and which I won't, one? I won't tell you. I'll keep you. George in, Washington? Keep in, um, McKinley. <laughs> suspension. But what? you might know. All right. This is called... 
home, home on the Must range. Must have been Ronald Reagan. Get it? Now I'm going to sing it. Don't, please. Uh, <laughs> oh, give me a home with, with a buffalo roll in the dear of the hollow play. <laughs> Choking again. Oh, Without a word, a discouraging word. Now this is the weather part. In the Long skies are not cloudy all day. Everybody, home on the range where the deer and the ant are Come on, Come on, swing it. Come on, swing it. Come on. I've never heard this song. Never heard this song. A discouraging word. And the skies are not cloudy all day. Where's the campfire? Why do you end every song? Now that's an oldie, but it's a goodie. It's a goodie. Yeah, right. home on the range. How about Are we getting the presidential facts? Yes. Who it? Um, it was the favorite song of um, Theodore Roosevelt. Oh. You mean Teddy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Teddy. He was the Cuban War, 1898. Did you, yes. Did you ever hear a poem yeah. about that? It's he was called The Rough Rider. And he loved... In New know, York, it was he, The Rough Rider. <laughs> by the way, uh, here's another thing I learned in uh, middle school. Yes, um, that was just last week. He liked the environment. He was he started the state parks. Right, he did the, the one out west, right? Was it Grant Teton? Yes, or? I can do that too. Thank you. <laughs> How about both of them at the same time? Rub you know what Ronald Reagan said? He said, show me a home with a buffalo roam, and I'll show you a sloppy house. That's terrible. Uh, what, what, the, what park was it? Was it Grand Teton or, uh, or, or no, the big uh, one, Yellowstone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, no, where Yogi Bear lived, The big, lived, the right? big ones, yeah. yeah. The Grand Canyon. Jelly Stone. Jelly yeah. Stone, sorry, yes. I mean, you know, started, you know Yogi Yeller, Bear? Stone. You know Yogi Bear? Young lady, listen for the sound. <laughs> Yogi, do you know Yogi Bear? He, yes. just, he just died recently. Yeah. No, no, he didn't. That was Yogi Berry. Oh. No, oh. and I got quite a bit of applause. Would you like another one? Yes, yes I would. Yeah, because, yeah, because, uh, okay. We're another six. one. So this, this has to do with uh, <laughs> the stars and the moon. It's called The Best Things in Life Are Free. Wait a minute. By the way, there's right. a super. May I, there's a, actually, uh, this <laughs> Sunday. There's something for free. Ed Baritsky is this about is to speak. <laughs> well, he's Jewish. What do you Ed want? Ed Baritsky. Are you, you done yet a, before I rip that beard off? Wow. I'm sorry. Did I get vicious? You probably I'll take your ponytail off. I'm going to pluck it out. I don't have a ponytail. Ed, it's my turn. It's, forget yeah. it. There's a, there's, a, come, there's a super moon. A super moon coming up oh. when? on Sunday. Is yes, it it's blood a moon. moon. Where is it going to be? At night in the sky, I hope. Is it night or in the daytime? My time's it's, running it's out. A, no, it's not. We got a lot of time. It is the harvest moon, as they say it oh, around here. Oh, harvest. Harvest. Yeah. Yeah. We want to do an American I thought you were from. I thought you were from Brooklyn. How do, how do they say it in Brooklyn? The Harvest Moon. Oh. All right. It's like the football team. No, I'm ready. Can, Audrey saw can, I, can I finish this, please? Yeah, no, go ahead. From no, the football team. Yeah, moon's up. What if we say no? You can't finish it. Too bad. I'm well, it's the right. show. <laughs> You're done? Don't ask then. Let's you, hear it. You don't want to answer. Don't ask. All so, right. There's, there's a full, the full moon that's closest. You look over here at the time. The full closest. moon that's closest to the uh, autumnal equinox is called equinox, if you say it correctly. Mm -hmm. It's called the harvest moon, where harvest the moon stays moon. fuller, longer. And so, well, you were there, it's right? It's like my hair. You, no, that's disappearing. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> You're past full moon. And uh, I'm, at, I'm at the last quarter. And uh, <laughs> Do you have a finale for this? I can't. Each? Well, I can't stop it. I what is your final word? So it's full moon. And actually, at harvest moon, it stayed fuller, longer, because it's position. Fuller, longer? Kind of fuller, longer, yeah. What kind of language is that? Fuller, longer. What the hell? <laughs> full along? It's, it's, it's an Indian word. That's Southern <laughs> Indian word. Yeah, full along. It's an Indian word. <laughs> Did you pay for that joke? He should have gone. Full he should have gone to England. <laughs> should have gone to Audrey, English I'm class. sorry to expose you to this. Full along. I've longer. been here for 25 minutes. Yes. <laughs> when, when's the therapy <laughs> show starting? Full along. Right now, it's full along. Full so along. They actually harvested at night oh. by the full moon. Thank you for that. It's going to turn reddish because it's communist, I believe. Well, it's a blood moon. It's a blood. Once a month. No? Not that I'm it's not the same okay. thing, you idiot. <laughs> oh, boy. oh, sorry. Did I call you an idiot? Yeah, that's right. I, it's it's sorry, idiot. Nicest thing. All right. So that's coming up. Now, hopefully, it won't be cloudy where you are because it makes it difficult to see. Really? It turns okay. reddish and then, yeah. It doesn't, you Edward. can look at the full moon because it's Edward. only reflected sunlight. You can look at the moon during an eclipse, total eclipse, because it's only reflected sunlight. If you look at the sun, forget it. You're in trouble. Even Anybody. though it's a total moon. How about all the right. daughter? Jerry, go ahead. Oh, all right. Well, I shouldn't be too upset at you know at the, uh, these prices, but you I was going to do a longer song, 
But now we don't a full long We don't have a time. It would be even more time if you'd be quiet and sing. But now I have to change my repertoire. I'm going to do a shorter song. Go ahead. What should I do? Can you sing? There's a bright golden haze on the meadow. There's a bright golden haze on the meadow. The corn is as high as an elephant's thigh. And it looks like it's climbing clear up to the sky. Everybody, oh, what a beautiful morning, oh, what a beautiful day, I've got a beautiful feeling, everything's going my way. That's it? Thank you. You annoyed me for all that? Thank you. I'll save the other song. It's much longer for, you know, another show. As long as you're not John Wright. I can't take it anymore. If I have the privilege of being invited back again. his daughter. Bonnie Wright. Does she want to do a makeover? My it's God. She probably took the closest side of the All right, what's your final word, Ed? I want to do a final word. Do you have any words of, uh, how, uh, let's interview the young lady here. Uh, Over here. Oh, Audrey. No, you have a Audrey, final word, Audrey, how's it been for this excitement? I mean, it's been pr pretty much exactly what I expected. On a scale of one to ten. What? Will you stop it? About a minus what's ten. What's ten? The Excellent. Best. Excellent. I, it would be, oh, 15, 20. Oh. You know, you don't lie very well. <laughs> Audrey, are you going to make it? That's to a very good answer. I, I had a dream like this show before. It was, that was, was called a nightmare. I was visiting the Alzheimer clinic but at the time, but okay. Look. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's it's not funny, that Alzheimer. That we what? Took what it was the question? That's not funny. What was the question? Don't, that's not funny what's either, what's the question? Rabbi. We're trying, we're trying to sell the book. You know, what the book? Well, well, book? They can't I all be book. winners. We're out of time. Okay. All right. We're going to be out of time soon, but next, Audrey, it's I want to thank time. Audrey for being here and really thank you. For using to, to, uh, we're really with feeling. It's about we? time we All ran right, out of time. All right, it's show 47. Thank you. Remember the jewelry. Take a look. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, give us everybody a hand. All right, come on, Audrey, fake it.